Hi friends, I Robinson. Welcome to our YouTube channel Star Science Robinson. Let's get into topic. Now we'll see about tricuspid atresia. First of all, what is tricuspid atresia? The tricuspid is a congenital absence of tricuspid valve resulting in no communication between the right atrium and right ventricles. So there will be no valve present the tricuspid valve in right chambers so in right chambers there should be the co2 blood from the right atrium sent to the right ventricles from their pulmonary artery from pulmonary artery to the lungs for the exchange of gases but here it will not be done because there will be no opening of your tricuspid valve so one thing you have to remember here is when we have this kind of condition tricuspid atresia almost there will be a three ways where the blood will reach out to the lung so or the lung may receive blood from the three roots that is ventricular septal defect or patent ductus atrosus or asd atrial septal defect so or when you have asd at the same time there should be a vsd so that is the thing we have to see here so this is a atrial defect from right atrium which will pass to the left atrium so the blood will flow into the left ventricle from left ventricles to right ventricles by the way or opening of the ventricular septum defect so from there it will enter into the pulmonary and artery and from there it will reach to the lung so now we are seeing about the green line which i have given you here in the diagram that is tricuspid valve is closed so tricuspid valve is not formed so the blood from the right atrium will not flow to the right ventricles because it is blocked by the u2 not formed tricuspid valve and due to abnormal development of tricuspid valve so there will be no proper functioning of the tricuspid valve as i said the blood from the left ventricle to right ventricles through the ventricular septal defect and from there pulmonary artery and it reaches to the lungs and now we can see the root one second i'm showing you from right atrium co2 blood will flow to the atrial septal defect to the left atrium from there to the left ventricles and from there it will go through the ventricular septal defect to the right ventricles and from or from left ventricles it will pass to the iota from iota patent ductus atriosus will join to the pulmonary artery and from there the blood will flow into the systemic circulation as well as to the lungs tricuspid atresia patients will have the blood circulation so when there is closure of the tricuspid valve or not well formed of the or abnormal development of the tricuspid valve thank you friends